joint is real, real close and grainy. Mm, 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 mm. Right, keep going. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm almost, almost in the center of the camera. All right. All things you should work out before you turn the camera on. Ooh, I really don't like this Instagram camera. Why is it so... I promise one day I will be blessed with a good phone. Oh, you know what? <clears throat> it's not about a blessing. I'm on punishment. Right. This is only 15 minutes. So let me get to the meat of the situation here. Good morning and welcome to the Winter Wellness Workshop. Um, well, we will learn, uh, where well, we will learn and talk about practices of peace and mindfulness to embrace the stillness of the season. Uh, there are a lot of cultures. I don't know if there's a lot of cultures. <laughs> Let me not over speak, but I know there are a couple <clears throat> and I can't pronounce it H Y G G E. In Denmark, if you are um, joining me on Instagram, join the Facebook event page so that we can continue whatever conversation here and you can also get some extra tips because uh, we only have 15 minutes. And uh, yeah, I forgot what I was saying. It's early. <laughs> it's the first one. So yeah, anyway, about that, H-Y-G-G-E. Um, and they practice that over in Denmark. Oh, right. The Facebook event page. Mm -hmm, that. If you go to the Facebook event page, you will see me explaining all of this. So I'm not actually about to say it. But, you know, we should learn to embrace the stillness of winter. Follow nature. Like, honestly, when you don't know what to do, look and see what nature is doing. Because we're all connected there's all a lesson to be learned, definitely, from nature. I mean, that's what yoga is. A lot of the yoga poses come from uh, animal poses. I mean, animal, uh, yeah, animal poses and tree. That's what they're called. Dog, tree, puppy, dolphin, cobra, uh, <laughs> you know, a mountain. I can keep going. Um, but they're derived from things in nature. So even during winter, take a cue from nature. Everything rests. Nothing is worried about resting in the winter. The only time, the only thing they're worried about is having enough nutrients, right? Enough of whatever it needs to get through the winter so it can come back stronger and more vibrant the next season. Bear sweeter and bigger fruit the next season because it took the time to chillax during the winter and so we should learn how to do that instead of uh, I gotta go outside in this cold do you or can you instacart it can you door dash it can you add it to another errand when you have to go outside anyway like to work or to church or to the gym do you have to go outside do you have to go to so-and-so's get-together just because they asked you? Like, can you take the authority over your life and be like, ooh, I'm good, you know. You know what I do? I check to make sure there's enough people going to be there <laughs> so that my missing ain't so important because if it's a whole lot of people, they'll be like, oh, he is go. Oh, hey, girl. You know, <laughs> it'd be off to the next person and can't even think about my presence not being there too bad. Um, but, you know, it, it's the winter time. Go ahead and feel free. Ooh. That, oh, no, it is. Why does it tell me to start the live video? I'm confused. I'm confused. I'm going to be mad if I've been doing all this talking and the Facebook ain't started. Is it live? It says it should start automatically. Okay, well, we're going to see what happens. Anyway, um, so I do need to know how long I've been talking, though. Oh, duh. Yeah, you started at 7.45. It's a Monday. It's morning. <laughs> it's the beginning of the year. And I'm doing the thing that y'all, if you've been following me, know I struggle with. But we gonna, we gonna knock it out this year. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna be a great content creator <laughs> this year. Um, so, yes. 
So that's what we're going to do on the Winter Wellness Workshop is we are going to um, learn how to practice the embracing of the stillness of winter because it also gives you a chance to work on yourself when you are minus all of the other distractions when it is nice outside because I know I can't concentrate when it's nice outside. This is one reason why I can't hold an office job because it'd be nice outside and I'd be looking outside thinking about all the things I want to do other than whatever that job is. Um, it's only happened like once or twice in life. That's how I know that wasn't for me. Um, so yeah, very difficult for me to concentrate when it's nice outside because I'd rather be outside doing the things. Um, yeah, so yeah, take this time for yourself to work on some things. Uh, it's kind of like, um, I hope it's not too soon to use it like that, but it's like COVID, you know, you had to be in the house. You couldn't go nowhere. You was with yourself. If you had any good sense, once you got over being mad about it, you did something with all that time on your hands. If not, you know, it was probably a very long situation for you. And so that's the same thing, principle that you want to apply for winter. Give yourself something to do, and that something to do is work on you. Okay? And so if you have seasonal depression, that's helpful because it'll give you something to distract yourself from the weather. Um, this has been proven. Uh, <clears throat> that That's my solution for everything. Whenever you are frustrated, find yourself a goal to take your mind off your frustration. Even better, find yourself a goal related to your frustration. Okay, there's a free tip for you. I used to charge people a lot of money for that tip, but I'm going to get that to you right there for free. Um, all right, so... Yeah, I should tell you what the seven principles are. Again, join the Facebook group because you'll see all those things listed there and I will go into depth over some topics over there. Um, so the they are in no particular order other than I know that um, we will start with the mental because uh, <clears throat> we will start with mental because for that, we can use a logical approach. Uh, everything, emotions, and touchy-feely things uh, ain't, ain't, we'll, we'll leave to the end. I'm sorry, I'm trying to read and I can't even read. Well, did I, did I make it? Did I read it? Did I put it in, in code? We will start with mental because for that, we can use a logical approach. Oh, I'm just not awoke in my brain. Can't comprehend reading. I can just ramble on at the mouth. Okay, here we go. We will start with the mental because for that, we can use a logical approach. Uh, everything, emotions, and the touch of you. Oh, approach rather. Oh, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Let me wake up. Oh, my God. I did. I woke up like at 7 o'clock. I really should have got up at 6, but I didn't go to bed till 3. Didn't make my New Year's plan of going to bed at 11. Um, so... Anyway, we will start with mental because for that we can use a logical approach. Everything. I don't know what that, that word is throwing me off. Okay, we will start with mental because for that we can use a logical approach. Um, and, and emotions and the touchy-feely things will leave to the end uh, because by then hopefully you'll be able to address those touchy-feely things with more logic and not emotion so you can get to the heart of heart of things. See the difference when I read and go off the top of my brain but I only got 15 minutes so I can't be segueing all over the place so I, I tried to write it down so I could stay on task and that didn't that didn't happen too well did it? Um, okay so yeah we'll we'll start with mental because, again, your brain, your logic, we can, we can break those things down and the, the activations are a lot more logical than they are touchy-feely. And so if you're not good at embracing or, or communicating with yourself and learning how to uh, approach your emotions or communicate your emotions even to yourself, then some of the other things might be a little difficult. So we're going to start with mental because uh, that has a more logical approach, at least in my practice. I don't know what other people do. Um, and I didn't make these wellness 
pillars, or practices, pillars, people call them all these things. I didn't make these up, uh, but I did make up the other stuff. So these seven principles are mental, uh, in no particular order other than mental is going first, uh, that we're going to, we're going to talk about them. Mental is first, uh, emotional is last, physical, environmental, spiritual, recreational, and social. So we'll probably go like mental and physical is good. Oh, no, no. We'll probably go mental and environmental. <laughs> mental and environmental because they go together. Um, definitely, your environment plays a lot on your mental. Um, and your mental, of course, affects your environment. So uh, we'll definitely go do that one. We'll go that direction. We'll go mental and then environmental and then recreational and then social and then emotional and then spiritual, which I guess they might go back and forth. I got to read what I, um, yeah, 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 yeah. Emotional, then spiritual. Boom. Definitely. That sounds good. Like that? I like that. Mental, environmental, recreational, social, <laughs> emotional, and spiritual. Boom. I like that. Okay, so for mental, oh, in three minutes. And, and mental, for, for this you should go grab yourself a journal. Maybe you already have one if you want to make a separate one. I don't know how you want to do that. Maybe you have a section in your journal. I used to use a like five subject notebook back in the day carrying around this giant ass notebook. Um, but the subjects worked because I could use them for journaling different areas of my life. Uh, so get yourself a journal or add this to yours. Uh, keep notes in your, your phone, however you want to do it. Uh, you want to keep track of these things. Uh, start journaling. Uh, so take uh, mm, mental is about taking the time to be curious and creative. Uh, being curious and creative helps you solve a lot of things. Either the creativity is going to help you be resourceful and get through a situation, whether it's an actual physical situation or mental spiritual, emotional situation, whatever the situation. Um, and so being creative can, can help you be resourceful enough to find a solution for that. Being curious can also help you find the answers um, to what you seek. Because if you're not curious about things, then you, you may not get the answers you want. You may not expand your intelligence on things that you need to know. Uh, being curious will keep you from learning, and you should be learning. There's so much knowledge out here, so many things to learn. Like, there's no reason why you should not be learning things every day, even on a most basic, basic level. Like, you should be learning things every day. Something as simple as, New Year's Eve, I watched the Christmas tree get set on fire. Now, you see the news, and they talk about how the Christmas tree sets on fire really fast, and all of this and all that, but, you know, it doesn't really process. But I actually saw one get set on fire in my face, like right here, and I learned about Christmas trees getting set on fire. I heard about it on the news, but I learned about it when I actually saw it in my face over the weekend and um it was it was great like it really took a minute and 32 seconds for that that tree to go full fireball and down to nothing it was thinking about it in the house was quite scary I grew up with real f trees I don't know how this happens but um it does because they talk about it on the news every winter or Christmas season so anyway yeah uh already out of time so I'm just run, say what's on this paper and shut up. Start journaling to capture your growth. That's important. It's important to, we, ha we are prone to remember our failures and not so much our growth. So it is very important that you write these things down, especially the ones that are important to you. And not just write them down. I got post it notes all over, post-it notes all over the place. Um, 
and and so put put those put those growth points somewhere or put those uh which which what's that the thing to keep you uh, motivated put those things your inspirational quotes and things put that anywhere everywhere i got them on my refrigerator i got them on my door walking out the door on on both my doors the door to my house and the door to my apartment i got well i used to have them on the, the bathroom mirror but i don't have them on the bathroom on my refrigerator just posting notes everywhere put this stuff write it down so that you can capture your growth and also embrace gratitude because when you know your growth then you have more gratitude when you have more gratitude you can see your growth and continue to grow so that that's important and um it makes you feel good about holding yourself accountable and letting you know that you can be self-contained or self-sufficient and and get the things done that you need done and release your stress mindfully okay so being creative will help you release your stress mindfully um, some of the things that you could do is the things that you've been interested in all this time um, what do you want to go do what do you want to go see what would you like to eat what would you like to try what do you want to make these are things that you can focus on in the winter. That was doing, seeing, eating, trying, making. So that's five weeks right there on mental. I, I think what the winter is like three months. So here, you just, let me see, three months. Is that, so this is, this is just about a third of winter. It's just focusing each week on doing something you've always been interested in. Going to see things that you've always been interested in. Eating something that you've always been wanting to try. Um, or, or trying trying something that you've always wanted to try and, and making something that you've always wanted to make. And it's not about being good at making the thing, just the fact that you tried it because it's always been in your head and you've been saying, I want to make such and such. I want to do so-and-so or not do so-and-so, but you know, I want to do whatever. Um, your your body processes that your mind processes that and so when you keep telling yourself these things that you want to do see eat try make and you never do it you low-key let yourself down and you get used to being let down on those low vibrational levels mm. that's not on the paper you can tell because i didn't stutter yo i miss you who who are you i don't know who you are i miss you too but I, I, I don't, Chicago Mice, hey, what's your real name? <laughs> I don't know anybody named Chicago Mice. I'm sorry, y'all. I am horrible at Instagram. Please meet me in the real world. It, it helps me connect connect you to Instagram, especially when your names ain't your name. And You ain't got to miss me. I'm right here. I'm, I stay in the real world. That's why people miss me. Everybody to move to, to, to social, social life, I, I be out in the world. Even in this cold. Oh! Of course. Now you know better. Of all people, you ain't got no reason to be missing me. You know exactly where I'm at. And you know I don't be doing this uh, social media stuff. Not, not At least not contacting me. Business, yes. Personal, you got to hit me on the hip. I'm old school and I like it like that. If you value my uh, relationship, then you will speak my love language, language which is direct, um, direct at me. <clears throat> Your phone is fake blocked. I don't even know what that means. All right. So anyway, I am finna get out of here because this is only 15 minutes and um, my New Year's New Year's plan is to stay on schedule. I got a whole schedule, and I'm going to try to stay on it. Um, so I can be extra self-sufficient, and we'll talk about self-sufficiency because that's a that's a beautiful thing. Um, some call it confidence, but self-sufficiency, that's who you want for a friend. That's who you want for a business partner. Those are the type of people you want to support, the ones that are self-sufficient. And we'll talk about self-sufficiency. That scares people. But, yep, start journaling to capture your growth and embrace gratitude. And it also helps you hold yourself accountable and release your stress mindfully. What is something you have always been interested in? What is something you've always wanted to do? See, eat, try, make. 
that is what you can be focusing on this week as we work on our winter wellness uh mental <laughs> winter mental mental winter mental winter mental winter wellness say that mental <laughs> mental win dang it mental winter wellness mental winter wellness mental winter mental 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 winter wellness <laughs> okay anyway see y'all here tomorrow to talk more about mm, being curious so I hope you are curious to see what I have to say and then I will see you on the morrow peace and I learned from my um latinx friends this is the proper way to do peace and I will find out why and put that in the Facebook situation so go join the Facebook group and we will find out why this is the proper way to do peace. Not this way. But then I thought it was this way I was learned. Or did I learn that before this was proper and not that way. And now I learned that it's this way. Again, learning. Be curious. So, that that keeps life adventurous and exciting. While we're all out here looking for adventures and superstar lives. Uh... Be curious, and you can find all that same excitement without a red carpet. I, I prefer not the red carpet. Anyway, let me get off this thing. I get to rambling. It's too early, and I only had three hours of sleep, so that might be a problem, too. I'm too sober. Need coffee. Okay, still rambling. All right, I love all y'all. Thank you for supporting me. Feather girl, we're going to have to get your communication situation together because, yeah, um, alright, see y'all in the morning.